Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Not another glorious bagel Sunday, because we decided that since we spent so much money on groceries yesterday, that we would cook this morning. Today it is 44 degrees, although according to the Weather Channel, it feels like 36. It's chilly, I mean, what are you gonna do? It's, it's partly sunny, it's pretty overcast, but every once in a while the sun comes out, but not enough to make a difference. I have been going through all of my gear today. I mean, pretty much after I ate, I went upstairs into the, into the office and studio and started going through gear because I belong to a number of groups for you know the various cameras that I have. I noticed that somebody was having a hard time updating their 200 to 600 lens to the latest firmware. And I was like, oh shit, there's a firmware update. So that's what I did this morning. I updated, let's see, the uh, 200 to 600, the 70 to 200 version two, and the A7 IV, not the R4. Other than that, nothing else had an update because I, I clicked through like each lens, each camera and all that kind of stuff. So I am now currently up to date with firmware, but here I am at Target. Of course, we have gotten down to be using the last tea bag for her. And I also keep forgetting to get the cat poop liner thingies that, that go in the little poop holder. So I got to go do that. But rather than sit here and talk about having to do it, let me just go in and freaking do it. I just picked up one of these little uh, cute Polaroid Go cameras. I got it in an everything box. So it comes with the... Uh... <laughs> it's got a box within a box. Now chances are this thing isn't gonna work because it's gonna need to be charged. Like a normal Polaroid camera, it's all powered by the film canister. But I don't think that's how these are. I think these actually, you charge the camera up. Because I think I read that this has, like if you give it a full charge, it will last for 15 film canisters. Oh, you're kidding me. That's lame. It's freaking micro USB. Who the frick still uses that in 2022? Jesus. Hey companies, it's 2022. Why the hell are you still using USB micro and mini? Jesus Christ, USB-C. How difficult is it? This tiny ass little thing is small enough, oh shit, for me to actually push the button. This thing is small enough that it will fit in my purse. It just goes right in there. Unlike that Fuji that I have, the, the little Instax, even though I got a smaller one and I have a really big one, they're really big to carry around, which is why I pretty much haven't been. That was anticlimactic. We are going to now go and do something else. What? I don't know. I almost think like it's a waste of time and I should probably just go get coffee. All right. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm basically just going to be driving around and impulse spending, which I don't need to do. So I'm just going to go to three ships and get bean and go home and go about my day. Definitely found yesterday, I don't know if you could see it, but I could see it, is how much better the footage was. Because this time, instead of having only three hours and like 12 minutes of record time on the CF Express card, if I put it into 420 10-bit, then I get five hours and 20 minutes. And I thought to myself, oh yeah, I definitely want to do that because I, I don't want to I don't want to run out of space. And I'm thinking to myself, when the hell have I ever run out of space? Like if you put it in 8-bit, you can see, and I don't want to say it's shitty, but you can definitely see the limitations of the camera when it's in 8-bit compared to when it's in 10-bit. And I know I had a lot of people say, man, dude, when you put that 35 millimeter lens on there, and this was on the a7 IV, when you put that 35 millimeter G Master on there and I shot in 10-bit 4K, everyone was like, dude, that looked so good. And I agree. So that when I don't do that, I can see more like artifacting. It just looks grainier and, and not as good. I was playing around with all the settings the other day and decided that, you know what? I'm gonna throw it into 4K HS, 100 megabit, 422, 10-bit. Like it looked so much better. The artifacting, even in the same lighting conditions, it did not look as, as artifacty. So I'm definitely gonna stick with that. I only get three hours and 12 minutes on the CF Express A card because there are 160 gigabytes. I'm not gonna get as much on there, but it's three hours and 12 minutes. Even when I'm running around filming a bunch of shit, I never come up with that much footage. And at that point, I can come home and I can take stuff off the card or I can just go into the second card. I have two of those in there. So technically I have six hours worth of filming if I need it. If I'm gonna 
have this really good equipment, I might as well use it to its near maximum. Bean has been gotten. Now, homeward bound. Okay, kids, you got a special treat today. You get to watch me sort my laundry. And now that'll sit here until the sheets are done. But let's go flip the bed. Okay, this freaking mattress is heavy as shit. It is a double-sided mattress, so the, you know, it's the same thing. Even if you flip it, it's all pillowy and shit on both sides because if you get a mattress that doesn't need to be flipped because it's so sturdy, they're full of shit. You can lay on this thing every day and it's gonna get the pattern of your body shaped into it, more so when you have two people laying on it. So don't believe it, you have to flip your mattress. The monkey spine knows all. When I start having consistent poor night sleep, it's because I need to flip the mattress. Okay, now I'm sure you can hear my belabored breathing. That's spun around now. Good to go. As soon as the sheets are done, I'll get them in the dryer and start going back to that. Now, oh, I'm gonna fall down. Okay, the sheets are now in the dryer. All the clothes are in the washer. The mattress is spun. Coffee, cold brew, concoction is concocted. And I think that's all you're gonna get for today. I don't really have anything else going on other than folding laundry and putting the bed back together and shit like that when the time comes. That's it. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.